When I changed my career a few years ago, a lot of thought and planning went into it. And for the most part, I have to say it worked out all right. But there are a few things where I thought maybe I should have thought about this a little bit more deeply. And this is where this video comes in. So today I share three things to consider before you make a career change so that you can benefit from them as well. The first thing to consider is to determine your why. And that is incredibly important for a couple of reasons. The first is that you don't want to go down the wrong path. It's very easy to become frustrated with a boss or very easy to become frustrated with how things are done in your current organization. And maybe if you just changed into a different organization or had a different boss, you would be perfectly content with the career that you are currently working in. The second thing though is that if you have finally determined that you want to pursue a new passion, I can guarantee you there will be obstacles and there will be fears and the easiest way to overcome those obstacles and fears and to put all your energy into this new venture of yours is to know exactly why you are doing it. And the way to do this is this, write it down. I'm serious, don't just think about it. I didn't write it down. And here's what happens. Every time I think about my old career, because I was passionate about that too and I really enjoyed what I was doing, I was successful and I'm proud of the things that I've achieved there. Every time I think about it, I add a little detail about why I left it or I miss something out that was a reason and over time the real reason gets forgotten. And then I start to question everything and I have to put my energy into that rather than into the new venture. So write it down and clearly determine your why. The second piece of advice I'd like to share is don't rest on your laurels. We leave careers or we change careers for any number of reasons, but regardless of what they are, there will at least be a few things that you have achieved in your old career and you will be proud of that. The problem comes in when you combine those achievements with the struggles you will experience in finding your feet in the new career and, of course, plenty full of self-help advice that you can watch on YouTube or elsewhere, you can read about it, that we need to take care of ourselves, we need to love ourselves, we can't be too hard on ourselves. The risk here is that you lose momentum. You come across an obstacle and you pause and wait and you tell yourself that it's okay, it's all very new, you have to find your feet first, you have to be patient with yourself. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that every time you come across an obstacle that you can't immediately solve, you should beat yourself up over it, far from it. But remember back how you dealt with those obstacles and hurdles in your first career. You were probably even excited about that because suddenly there was something new that you could learn. So you would go out and read about it and try to learn about it and put all your energy into that. And that kept up the momentum that built the passion that you had in your first career as well. Number three, grief, then close the door. When I approached my new career, and maybe you can relate to this, I thought about all the great things that I will achieve in this new career, the things that I will learn, the things that I will do. I very rarely thought about the things that I'm leaving behind. And truth be told, sometimes I miss those things. You will miss some of the things of your old career. Whether you hated your old career or whether you loved it, you did spend a considerable amount of time in it. And with that time came a lot of responsibilities and achievements and things that you grew accustomed to. And some of them you now have to leave. And that doesn't mean that you have to question everything, whether you make the right choice again. It just means that being aware of the things that you will leave behind will make it a lot easier to transition to your new career. The best way I can describe it is actually through a story that's very personal to me. And it's over 15 years ago when my father died. And even though it's that long ago, I still very vividly remember a portion of the funeral service that happened. And at the time the officiant said, now he has passed over into another room. We know he's there. We can still feel the presence in us and all the things that connect us to my father. 
but the door is shut so we can't see him anymore. And we also have to leave this door shut so that we can focus on life and on moving forward. And I thought that's a wonderful explanation of how to grieve for an old career and prepare our way for a new career as well. That you know it's still there, you still reap all the benefits from your old career, the experiences that you have, the proudness, the accomplishments and your knowledge. But now you have to close the door and that helps you to move forward in your new career. And this is what this channel is truly about, to help people like yourself who are often non-conventionally minded, to help through change in jobs, careers and life, even when all the people around them tell them otherwise. If that is for you, consider subscribing. And by doing that, you won't miss topics like the ones that are on the screen right now. I will see you next time.